So guys, um, remember I was going to build my whole printer with uh, Pet G. Not thinking about how it's designed, but no, the more I research it, um, people are saying, uh, the developers of Voron, uh, Voron Design, they've designed this printer to be printed with ABS. Uh, it's not because of just temperatures, but rigidity. So here's an example. Um, I was a little, I didn't really like this flex that was going on that I use with Pet G. See, there's a little flex. That's a lot of flex. Now that's, I don't think that will actually affect the performance pr uh, printer because it's on the outside and the pulley that actually, um, the belt goes through is over here, which is static. And there's no movement with this Pet G part. So I'm actually sticking with this particular part because it's outside the enclosure. Um, it's not gonna get hot enough where it's gonna affect the performance of this particular part. But this particular guy sort of annoyed me, so I just printed one out in ABS. Exact same infill uh, pattern. Put one on there, and guess what? Almost just very little flex, if I flex on it. Same thing, a lot more flex. So this is why you gotta use ABS, especially within the heated environment. Um, this is not even heated environment, and this is much more rigid. Now, um, with a ton of parts involved, if you're talking about getting faster speeds, this is going to go, uh, of course, affect your prints, especially when you're printing fast. Of course, if you print slow, it's probably not going to affect it as much. But why are you bringing a, why are you building a Voron? So there you have it. This is ABS, exact same infill, and here is Petri. And this is why you need to use uh, ABS for all the parts. I think this is okay. I think this particular, this is the only part that can be in Pet G. Or any of the, the dropping and stuff on the bottom of the thing, I, I think it should be okay. But I'm also replacing these with Pet G. Um, I just wanna do it right the first time. So yeah, this is why, you, you know, with ABS, you're gonna get that rigidity you need. With Pet G, it's just gonna flex too much, all right, for functional, Voron 2.4. Anyway, have a great day, folks.